The Adventures of Boxer Boy and Great Granny Gurgle, an epic novel by George Beard and Harold Hutchins. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Adventures of Boxer Boy and Great Granny Gurgle, by George Beard and Harold Hutchins. <clears throat> Everybody knows that grandparents are kind of dorky. They tell you dumb jokes. Why did the silly Willie throw the clock in the air? He wanted to see time fly. <laughs> they call you embarrassing nicknames in public. Hello, babies. <laughs> and they have no sense of what things cost. Here's a nickel. Why don't you buy a video game with it? Thanks, I will. My grandparents are still cool for one reason. We're old and we don't care what anyone thinks. Oh, all right, Buster Brown. Charles. <laughs> You brought you what? You bother me. Ah, <laughs> oh, heroes. And so everything was cool until one day, when a strange new store opened up downtown. Robo Jenny Baby. What? They were selling robots. Hey kids, trade in your old worn out grandparents for the latest in Robo Geezer technology. <laughs> They're tons better than regular grandparents. They tell funny jokes. What's 40 feet long and smells like pee? The line dancers at the old folks' home. Ha <laughs> ha! They call you cool names. Nicknames in public. Hey Thor. Yo, what up, dog? <laughs> and best of all, they have no sense of what things cost. Here's $10, thousand dollars for a candy bar. Soon, every kid in town was trading in their grandparents. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. Where are you taking us? Nowhere. For brand new Rebel Grannies and Grandpa, Grandpa Tron. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. <laughs> wow, cool. I love my new Rebel Geezers. Soon there was only two real grandparents left in town. Two. <laughs> you wouldn't trade us? And, would you? <laughs> no way! You better not, or I don't get a whooping! <laughs> anyway, one day, George and Harold's grandparents went downtown. Something fishy is going on in here. Hmm. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 